Today I'm going to share a website with you called Piazza.com. It is a website for professors and instructors and students to collaborate together to solve questions. It is a wiki style format. The questions and the answers can be changed by any of the participants. Let's take a look at an example. First of all, here is the question, and lots of different people could participate as we answer the question. Uh, it supports the LaTeX code so that we can see the mathematics, uh, have the powerful tools to write the mathematical symbols. You can hashtag it to, to store it later so that you can find it later. Then the students write an answer. So instead of getting 50 answers, you'll just get one answer that the students collectively write so they can keep changing it and making it better. Then here's the instructor's answer, and again, the instructors can collaborate and make one answer. The instructors, then there's the ability to add follow-up discussions. If there's extra information or you want to go deeper with the topic or other topics, they can add that here. And then even the, the ability to say whether it's finished or not, so you know if we should keep discussing that topic. There's also the ability to wind the discussion back, so to speak. You can wind it back to the beginning and see how it's been changed along the way. So that is also a nice advantage of this particular application. Settings. Here we have the sign up link so that you can uh, copy and paste that and send that out to your students so that they can sign in. You can determine if your instructors or your coworkers can sign in automatically if you need to give them permission. And you can also cl click here to clone a new class so that you don't have to keep creating classes if you teach the same thing the next semester. Then we go to customizing our questions. First of all, you can decide if students can post anonymously to instructors. So if this is enabled, then they can be anonymous to everyone. If it's disabled, they can still be anonymous when they post the question, but the instructors will know who it is. Then they can, you can decide if students can do private posts. So private posts would go directly to the instructor. Even if a student sends a private post to the instructor, the instructor has the ability to make it public. So if it's a question they think everyone would benefit from, they could post it. And since they are able to edit the question, if they wanted to pull out uh, someone's personal information to modify the question to make it not so personal, they have the ability to do that. Then we can decide um, if you need to deal with the syntax highlighting and then also whether you want uh, students to be able to create polls. Then you can configure your class folders. You can decide what you want your labels to be and how many you want. That will help organize the information. It can go by unit or by topic uh, or by assignment number, however you want to do that. Then you can either enroll the professors and TAs with the by giving them their email or you can allow them to do that themselves. You can also enroll students by just putting in all the emails. You also have the ability. There are many advantages to using Piazza.com. First of all, it can be used on a computer or as an app on a smartphone or a tablet, and it is free in all those devices. Students can be sure that the answers they're getting from other students are correct, since the answers can give a thumbs up to responses, especially when students try to go to like OpenStudy or Yahoo.com. They just can't be sure that the help they're getting is really helpful. As students construct responses, they're engaged in learning by teaching, which has been shown to help students think deeper about topics. Instructors can eliminate repeated emails with the same question. Instructors can save time since other students can answer lots of the questions. And it supports the LaTeX so that students can type, type in formulas. Some number disadvantages, it's another program rather than being right in the LMS, although it can be linked to most LMSs, but still, it's just something that students will have to go to. Instructors must be sure to engage the class with it right away to ensure that it's being used properly. Uh, one way they can do that is if they get an email about a question, they can send an email back saying, go post that in Piazza. It's not low. There are lots of educational uses. It's, first of all, set up so that uh, you can answer questions from students. Also, it can promote discussion by the instructor could ask the question, and then the students could work together to build a response. It engages students in learning by questioning and collaboration and communicating. For research projects, it's a good way to keep track of asynchronous conversations. You can remember who said what when. In conclusion, Piazza is a tool for collaboration among students and instructors. It's a discussion thread on Wiki rolled into one. To use it, you set up your course, enroll students, set a tone of engagement, and let the students do the rest.